Hello guys and welcome to my creative channel and for this episode you're gonna be seeing me doing some mural paintings from my cousin's multi shop here in our place and I'm going to show you the designs and the step by step procedures right after this very short intro So guys, this is my first time of being in that place and you know, I need to know the interior I need to know the elements that are inside because those are my key points or my starting points for me to know the colors to use and also for me to decide what kind of designs to apply in each particular area And I'm going to start right here because this is one of the main focal points in that place this is actually one of the main spots that you're gonna be noticing when you walk past the gate or when you enter the milk tea shop because this is uh, facing the entrance. So I decided to use different shades of blues in here because uh, those are the first things that came into my mind when I saw the light grey wall and also the light uh, yellowish tone of the wood palette actually that's uh, light roshana to be exact and roshana is in the uh, yellow family well actually the blue colors blend well with the gray colors as you can see from the color palette of the clothes that I'm unconsciously wearing uh, they do blend well and actually they make nice contrast to the light yellow color of the wood palette while blue is a cool color gray is a neutral color and yellow belongs to the warm color family so though in contrast they uh, blend well and they complement each other by the way guys i'm sharing you this tip that you know if your home has these neutral colors such as gray, white, and black, you can actually combine any colors that you could uh, ever think of, that you could possibly think of. You can combine them with any sorts of colors because they are not that picky. And by the way guys, before I further proceed and before I forget, I would like to inform you that the main theme for this uh, milk tea shop, well it is actually derived from a garden concept. Well if you may have noticed those uh, wooden pallets in the previous parts of this video, the ones that has plant boxes and uh, frames that hold those uh, metal sprinklers, well actually that's from the concept itself. And it's from the modern type of gardening that we have nowadays and it's more popularly seen uh, in the lobbies of the hotels and also in the modern houses in the cities. And this type of gardening is known as the vertical garden. It's actually a smart way to uh, maximize your space and to bring the outdoors in so you can enjoy the garden. These are the wooden pallets that I have been mentioning which are also beside me in my work area. If you could notice those are metal containers and sprinklers, actually they are the ones that inspired me to create a country theme for this uh, mural painting. And the very first thing that came into my mind when it comes to the country theme are those uh, sunflowers that are standing tall in the field. So I have thought of bringing those outdoor scenes inside in order to give those refreshing country look. Well, actually I remember when I first came into the place, I was told by my cousin that that is the very first place that he would like to go to every morning to relax while sipping coffee and enjoying the garden theme at the same time. So that's also the same feeling that he would like to impart to his clients. The feeling of being relaxed while taking a meal and enjoying the friendly conversations and at the same time enjoying the beauty of nature. Also when I came in there, I remember that although that is in a garden setup, 
but I see no flowers inside. So you see, uh, a garden won't ever be complete without flowers. And so, at first I asked him, what sort of designs would you like me to do? And he said, it's up to you. And you know, having that said, I actually said, okay, I'm going to bring the sunflower fields in, in order to complete the garden look. And so now you know why I have come up with that sunflower accent in that area. By the way guys, did you know that flowers have positive vibrations? That is why it is quite important to have them in front of our houses and inside of our homes as well. As I have known, uh, they emit those lovely energies in order to clear off those uh, negativities and unwanted feeling inside our homes. And that is how they help us. They give off positive vibrations and they help us to uplift our moods. Apart from this, what I like most about this sunflower is that it is a very happy symbol. Uh, mainly because it's, its color is yellow and yellow is the color of happiness and of joy and Sunflower also resembles the shape of the Sun and as we all know that the Sun is a main source of positive things and also uh, It symbolizes abundance and prosperity because you know without the Sun all the trees will not be able to bear fruits and in the same manner the flowers will not be able to bloom I like the combinations of yellows, yellow greens, and then greens and blues because they, to me they are such a refreshing colors and they also give me the feeling that it's like a vibrant morning where you can always have a fresh start and you're always in a good mood to uh, act and do your thing. So guys, this is the sunflower painting that I did or the mural work that I did for this milk tea shop. And these inviting joyful flowers will be the first ones to welcome you when you enter the place. And that's my lovely signature. And here are more of the details of the painting. I really had hard times in doing those buds, but somehow and in a way, I did enjoy the process because it teaches the virtue of uh, patience. So I'm now doing the finishing touches by applying the acrylic emulsion on the surface of the painting. It helps to preserve it and also to protect it from dust and dirt. I am now doing the second part, which is actually my second task. And for me, this is a dreadful part because I'm not really good in this. This is actually the part where there will be lots of letterings and I'm not really good in that. Actually, this is not my cup of tea, but uh, I'm going to try my best because, you know, as an artist, there is always such joy and thrill and courage to try things that scare me but though it's not my thing i always uh try to end things up nicely and that's where my courage lies which is also a great source of fighting spirit in order for me to come up with things beautifully So you know guys life is full of struggles like how I am struggling here but if you focus on doing things you'll be able to accomplish it. So keep on motivating yourself and give your mind a boost that you can do it in order for you to gain confidence and also 
don't forget to give your shoulder a pat for uh, the efforts that you did because you know at the end of the day you'll be surprised that you have done things beyond your limits I am now doing the logo and at the same time the name of the milk tea shop which is called Area 51 It's funny because I thought what's with the number 51? Well, I thought it was the age of my cousin or the owner of this shop but I also saw these aliens along with this logo and along with this name so that made me actually curious and you know after some days of uh, googling I have come across with this article um, Area 51 and found out that it's a secret uh, US base in Nevada which deals with the UFO so that explained uh, why there are aliens along with this uh, name or with, with this logo now I am in the third part of my work and uh, they asked me to put something here in this vacant area because at first they thought of, they have thought of uh, using artificial uh, sort of grasses in order to fill out this area but I think that is quite expensive so what they did is that they asked me instead to f think of something that will fill out that uh, vacant space Actually, they showed me several pictures of the vines that are randomly coming out from the top of the wood downwards. And seeing that picture, it actually reminds me of a certain plant that resembles that. So, I have thought of uh, putting three hanging pots instead where those plants are coming down. And I believe that that plant, that particular plant is called the Golden Pothos. I have learned that this particular plant is associated with money. So probably it, comes, it came from, the, from its name which is uh, the Golden Pothos. So that's why it has some association with the money. And I figured out that this plant is also good for business. So. Uh, that's the reason why I decided to paint this instead of those uh, random vines hanging from somewhere. Now I'm in the process of completing the work by applying acrylic emulsion to the surface of the mural painting. And by doing such, it helps to protect the artwork from dust and dirt. Well guys, I'm now showing you the area. Because by the time I finished my work, the whole place was still in a mess. And so, here's what it looks like after. So guys, I do hope that you visit this place and try their specialties. Because what's shown here are only a few of them. And so, I do hope that you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated whenever I have new uploads. Thank you for watching!